Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the hard light blend mode. Not that commonly used, but it does have particular uses. So, as a reminder, then blend modes, you have a base layer underneath, then a blend layer on top, the names we give them, a blend formula, in which in this case it is hard light and it results in something you're going to see. The hard light blend mode is the third one in the contrast group because they provide contrast. And uh, let's have a look a bit more about that. The calculation here, well, I'm not going to go into this in detail, but I'm going to do that in another video. But the key thing to note with this is that if the blend, in other words, the top layer is less than 0.5 and otherwise it's dark, then it uses the darkening multiply blend mode, otherwise it uses the screen blend mode. And the key thing about this, which if you're familiar you'll know, otherwise of course you, you, you probably won't, is that if you change the word blend there to base you'll have the overlay blend mode. So in other words it's, it's a kind of reverse of overlay. But the key thing to note with this is with overlay the, the bottom layer, the original image, kind of is in charge, is the way of thinking of it. Whereas the top layer with hard light is in charge, and we'll see that in a moment. So let's just go to a nice image. And so if we just duplicate that, Control J, we've got the top layer here, and I'll change that to an overlay blend mode, you get the contrast effect. Now, if I change that to hard light, it's exactly the same, nothing changes, and that's because the top layer and the bottom layer are the same. And because all you're doing is switching the, using the same formula but switching the layers, of course it's going to have no effect. So sometimes the hard light is exactly the same as overlay. So don't worry if it, that happens, you're wondering what's happened. So let's show the difference of this. And the way to show the difference is to use a fill layer. And we're going to start off, um, yeah, just start off here then, it's quite dark. And I'll put the overlay blend mode on. And you see here, you've got a darkening effect because we've got a dark layer on underneath. But, but because overall the bottom layer is effectively in charge, it looks like the picture before. And in particular, the lights are lighter and so you just got the shadows affected here. Now look at what happens here. If I change this to hard light, what you get, because now the top layer effectively is in charge, then you're getting a, that even effect across the image altogether. So the lights are darkened in this, as opposed to the whites are darkened was before they, they were not. So this is good if you want to darken the picture overall. So we can look at this the other way around, is if I hold down the shift key and slide these all up together and put this, this somewhere near the top. There we got it's affected by the whole picture again because we've got hard light. And you could use this for example if you wanted to create sort of a foggy image. Whereas if we go back to overlay, there you see the darks now are coming through. So we got that sort of like more natural effect because you got the, the effect of the bottom layer is now the visual picture is in charge. We can do the same sort of thing as if we play around with colors. So let's make it an orange and we've got this now the opacity there is 100% and you've got overlay effect. So we've got an orange effect here, but the lights here are pretty much protected so it's, it's made orange and if we turn this down then you typically turn it down to somewhere and the typically around about 30% is what you'd normally use for this and put it back up again and look what happens when we go to hard light and look at that and it's gone completely orange it's taken over it's almost two-tone and that's because the top layer is now effectively in charge so if we turn down the overlay it's going to blend them more together so by the time we get down to about 50%, it's still pretty strong. So normally what you're going to do with hard light of this sort of thing is a lower. So I'll go from the bottom and just pull it up a bit 
And you can see it's just giving the whole picture. So it's creating a colour cast. So that's typically the sort of thing that you're going to do. So that's a bit of an explanation of how hard light and overlay are different. So if we go back then, so just some quick hard key points then. It increases contrast other as other contrast blend modes do. It uses the multiply and screen blend modes from the other sets. Mid grey, as with others, is invisible. So you've got grey in your image, it will just the top layer, it'll effectively won't be seen. Often you get the effect it's stronger than soft light, but it's notice it's the same as overlay when the blend and the base are the same. And the key point about it, it affects all the colours and tones, including the whites. So it's typically used then just for contrast increase, uh, tinting an image as we did before, keeping our opacity down, and something like adding fog by way of using the light side and various other blending. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.